Hey everyone, it's Len Romano. I'm having some downtime here in Pensacola, Florida, and I've been thinking a little bit about leadership while I'm here and uh, wanted to share with you some of the thoughts and experiences I've had over the last 38 years leading organizations. So let's get started. Um, the first thing is assembling the right team. And sometimes you might inherit a team that is not the right team. So it's your job to figure out how to put the right team together and how to outplace people to help support them out of the organization if they don't have the potential uh, to do what you need. And that's the, the bottom line on assembling the right team. Do they have the potential? Uh, maybe not all the experience, but the potential is what's key there. Second thing is your job is really to provide inspiration for the organization, inspiration to help the organization move forward with a vision that's inspiring. So number two is inspiration. The third thing is beyond uh, experience in the sector, you need to have intuition in the sector. And with that intuition, you can have a better pathway to uh, taking calculated risks. Uh, going along with that intuition is the fourth thing, and that is to draw analogies from other sectors and other industries. There are great examples of other models, operating models, and ways to do business, and ways to raise money uh, from other organizations and other industries. So draw analogies, constantly look for analogies. The fifth thing, and this goes back to the whole idea of, you know, the concept of putting the right team together. Once you have that right team, then delegate. Don't get in their way, move out of their way and, and delegate uh, to them. Of course, when you delegate, you don't lose, you know, the overall authority, but you help people grow as you delegate to them. The sixth thing, and this is another uh, aspect that goes along with delegation, is finding the next right answer. Challenge your staff to constantly find the next right answer, not stop at the first right answer. And in a way, uh, that helps them to challenge you because if you say listen I want everyone to look for the next right answer and not stop at the first right answer uh, that's a great way for them to disagree with with you but in a positive way and along with that is the idea of a blank whiteboard uh, many times especially in turnarounds you have to start with a blank whiteboard the seventh thing is knowing that you're not going to please everyone and that's just uh, the way it is. So take it, take it uh, at face value. Um, eighth, open up resources for your staff so that they can then take calculated risks. Your job is to provide the resources they need to spend money, to make money, to take some risks, to have innovation. So um, do whatever you can to open up resources. And finally, number nine is get rid of unproductive assets. And Put those dollars into assets that are more productive or into research and development or in inspiration uh, and innovation. So anyway, that, those are my thoughts here from Pensacola, Florida on my downtime. I hope that's helpful for you and um, good luck with your leadership endeavors.